Hello. So there's a Buddhist saying, when meditating, watch your mind. When in the world, watch your words. Learning to be mindful of what we say can teach us a lot about ourselves. Let's look back on a conversation you had recently, one in which you had a small amount of regret for how it all happened. Bring yourself back to that moment. What were you feeling? Is there tension? Anxiety? Maybe a little anger or sadness? Frustration? Did you feel you'd been misled or were misunderstood? What was the other person feeling? Imagine their face. How did they respond to what you said? Why did you say what you did? What kind of feelings come up now? Looking back on that event, what would you have done or said differently? Let's take a breath together. Now, looking back on that conversation, was this the right time for this discussion? Sometimes the timing simply is not right. If emotions are on edge or we may be putting the other person on the defensive or get defensive ourselves, it's kinder to both parties to wait until a reasonable discussion can be had. For example, when having a conversation with a coworker, maybe about some work that didn't get done, before we start the conversation, we can check in with ourselves. Mindfulness is about honestly recognizing what's going on, being aware of not just the sentiments we wish to express, but the feelings in our bodies too. So we can think, how are we feeling? Is there tension, anxiety, anger, frustration? This may not be the most opportune time for this conversation. Can we get to a place of equanimity, maybe of kindness? Speaking the truth may not always be the kindest, most useful or beneficial way to have this conversation. Considering how to speak the truth is about deciding what will be most useful to all concerned. Speaking with love and respect is helpful as is being careful with the words we use and the tone of our voice. Our physical feelings come into account as well. If we're tense about the conversation, that's going to show in our voice and in our body posture. If the person you're speaking to is unable or unwilling to hear it or may become defensive, you may need to wait for a better time. If we approach this conversation mindfully, we are attentive to all of these things, speaking through kindness for the greater good of everyone involved. This is true for emails, phone calls, talking to our team, loved ones, even friends. Our speech is an expression of our inner selves. Try to make a practice of taking a breath before you speak, or you write an email, post a text or something on social media, and ask yourself, how do I feel right now? Is what I'm about to say true? Is it kind? Is it useful to all concerned? Obviously, no one does this every time they speak. Certainly not me. But I am more and more conscious of these things. And I hope that over time, I'll begin to put this into practice more and more. And it will become a natural part of how I converse with people. Just give it a try. Try to remember when you speak to bring these things back and see if it makes a difference. Thank you.